Hey DIYers, I'm George at Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to create email notifications on Total Connect. Now today I'm going to be working with the iPad and I'm going to be using the Total Connect application. If you're using a smartphone or Android device, the setup is going to be quite similar. So follow along as best you can if you're looking to create email notifications in Total Connect. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open up the application. I have it to automatically log in, but once you click on your Total Connect application, it will prompt you to enter in your username and password, which you want to make sure you create. If you forgot it, you can always contact your monitoring company and they should be able to get that information for you. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the application. Give me one moment. So I'm going to open up the app. It's a red and white logo. Yeah, the, the letters are going to be red and are, are going to be white and the logo will be red. As soon as I open it up, it begins to log in. Now, as you see here, it's going to take me to my main screen. What I'm going to go ahead and do after this, the first thing I want to do is make sure that my notifications are enabled. You're going to find that in the My Profile section. So if you make your way over to My Profile, you got to wait until the screen loads up. You'll see on the top right, it'll say Email Notifications, and it'll have a little slider bar. If the slider bar is grayed out, then that means that the notifications are not enabled. All you need to do is slide it to the right so that it turns blue, and now you have enabled notifications. Now you're going to see here as well, you have the option of adding a phone number and an email. Now the phone number, you're going to need to validate. It'll send you a short code to your phone through a text message, which you will then hit validate now. And then you enter in the code that was sent to your phone. That'll validate your phone number and you can start receiving text message alerts if that's something you wanted. And the email, you want to make sure that you have a valid email in there because they're also going to send you a validation code. You can add an email just by simply hitting the add email or add a phone number by hitting add SMS. We're, if we wanted to create a new email, we would do add email. And let's say I do mine. So it'll be Jorge at alarmgrid.com. Yeah, I'll hit go. I'll just tap out of the screen to let this to let it know I'm done. And my email's been added in there. If you wanted to delete an email, all you have to do is hit the trash can next to it. You want to make sure you save your changes. So you're going to go ahead and hit save on the bottom right. Make sure you're always hitting and saving your work. That way, whatever you have done does not get deleted. So once I hit save, it's going to ask you if you're sure if you want to update the profile. You want to make sure you say yes. That way, it'll confirm everything you've added in there. It'll say profile details successfully saved. Just hit OK. And now you have your new email as well as your previous email and phone numbers that you had in there before. Now, see there, it's going to say validate now. It's waiting for me to enter in a code that was sent to my email address. If I hit the validate, validate now, it'll ask you for the validation code, which should have been sent to your email as soon as you created that, uh, that notification. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel. Yeah, so once you guys do that, it'll actually sh take away the validate now, just like you see in the support at alarmgrid.com. It's no longer there. Now we're going to get to the actual creation of the notifications and how you can delete some notifications that you may not want and how to enable some that you may want. For instance, one that you may not want that a lot of people constantly get is about the logins, uh, people logging into Total Connect. Some people, they don't want to know every time their significant other or their kids have logged into their Total Connect account. So you can actually delete that by going into your notification list. Now, if you're doing this on a website, it's very easy to find. If you're doing this on, on the application, it's a little bit harder to find because it's not as clear. To do that, 
to find your notifications and your notification list, what you need to do is on the bottom right in the little navigation bar, you're going to see three dots and um, text that says more. Once you hit more, it'll take you to another submenu. You you're going to need to hit settings. Once you make your way over to settings, you want to hit notifications. And first thing you want to make sure, again, even though we already enabled it in my profile, you do want to make sure that this email SMS notification is enabled as well. You also have the option of doing push notifications. So push notifications are notifications that are sent through the actual app to the phone. So they'll create banners in your phone. So like, let's say you have your smart device, the screen is locked. So if you do push notifications, you'll get whenever there's a notification that goes off through Total Connect, you'll see an app alert on your lock screen from Total Connect letting you know either your system's alarmed or there's a low battery or an alarm is going off or the system's been disarmed, etc. Depends what notifications you have. So if you want that enabled, again, all you have to do is check it green. Now, what we're gonna do is make our way over to our list. So once I hit list, it's gonna take us to every notification that we have enabled on our system. It's gonna load up. Once it finishes loading, you can scroll through all of them. These are basically the default notifications. <clears throat> like I said, if you don't want some of the notifications, but you feel like you may want them later on, you can always just slide the bar off. So for instance, for instance, if I don't want to know every time someone logs in or logs out, I can just go to the right hand side on the login and just hit the slider bar and it'll unsave that one or it'll disable that, that notification. If I want to, I don't want to know every time someone logs out of Total Connect either, I'm just going to go ahead and disable it. Boom. Now, you can pick and choose who you want notifications sent to. So if you do have email notifications enabled, you can create groups with different users, especially if you have different Total Connect users. So if you have a wife, if you have kids that use it, teenagers, uh, if, you're, if you have this at an office environment and you have employees, that a manager, um, assistant managers that need to know and that need these notifications, you can actually create specific groups for different different um, different people right so if I wanted to know if I wanted let's say my manager and assistant manager to know that uh, whenever an alarm is going off you're gonna go ahead and go to the alarm so I have looks like someone had created one before what you would do is go ahead and click the alarm notification it takes you there to the to all the settings of that notification you're going to see there that on the alarm, the notification category says security. Notification type is the system, and the trigger is whenever there's an alarm. So whenever there's an alarm, it triggers the notification to be sent. Now, if you see the notification status, it is set to on. You can change the subject, so you can give it a different name if you'd like. Now, here is where I want to pay attention to, the, D, uh, the send to. We can actually change send to by hitting the pencil icon right next to it. So if you want to edit that default group and add people to the group, just check mark their name and it'll add them to the group. Hit OK. If you wanted to remove people from the default group, again hit the pencil icon and you can uncheck them and hit save. Hit OK. You can change the uh, so here they had actually created a second notification for that same one so we have notification status default group let's say this one wasn't here I'm just gonna delete that one if I wanted to add a notification for a second group I would do add notification again you can give the 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 notification a different name if you wanted to you then go to send to it's going to pull up all of your groups that you have created 
and you could do the secondary group. For the secondary group, I believe it's just one user enabled. It's not the master user, so it's just Frank Longo. If some of you have spoken to him already, he is here at Alarm Grid. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as is. And then, like I said, you always want to make sure that you hit save. So all your work has been saved. And then just hit OK to confirm, and it'll back you out. Now, to create different groups, what you can do. So let's say, as a master user, you're automatically included in the default group. If you wanted to get, if you wanted to remove yourself and create a different group without yourself, what you would do is just go ahead and hit done to back out of that list screen. And now you're going to be at the groups. Go ahead and hit groups. This will take you to all the groups that we have. You'll see we have a default group, secondary group, and on the top right, you'll see a, per a person icon with a plus sign. Once I hit that, you'll be taken to the add group. You can add a new notification group. I will go ahead and write down family. I'll do continue. And then you can add who you want for this group. So let's say I wanted, boom, boom, Brian Hush and Frank Longo. I would do create group. And now it'll have everyone that's on there. You just go ahead and hit done. Now, if I go back to my groups, you're going to see here that it'll actually show you what groups have notifications linked to them. So right now, you'll see my default group and secondary group do, are, do say linked because I just finished creating the alarm notifications for them. Family, however, does not have any linked notifications because I have not added it to any. If I did want to, I would just hit done. I would go back to my list menu, wait till they load up, and let's say I wanted to, again, let's try a different one. Let's go to armed away. I click on the blue. It'll take me to that notification settings. Again, the trigger for this is whenever the system arms away, it'll send me an email or text message or to whatever users I create. I'm going to go ahead and change the default group to family schedule state always just go ahead and hit save now the schedules that's something that can be spoken about in a different video uh, that's a whole different story there we actually i believe we do have a youtube video on that if you guys want to go ahead and check that out just type in um schedules total connect and you should be able to find it on our youtube hit okay and now you'll see armed away as a family where it says send to. So send to family for armed away. Um, and then if you want to delete them, so let's say you know for sure that you don't want that notification and you don't want it there at all, what you would do is just go ahead and do a, they have a, each notification has a box to the left. You're just going to go ahead and check mark it. And then if you look at the top right, right above the, the disabled and enabled notifications bar, there's a select action. If you open up that drop down, select action, it'll say delete notifications, turn notifications on or off. So this would be, let's say all of them were turned off and you wanted them all on, you would just check mark every single one, or you can just do the top check mark, it'll select every single one, and then you would just turn on. For now, I'm going to go ahead and do delete notifications. It'll I'll say if it'll ask you if you're sure you want to delete the notifications so that that way if you made a mistake, you can go ahead and and um, just go back and fix it. So, I'm sure I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And it'll say selected notifications have been deleted. Hit okay to confirm. And now you'll see that my alarm default group notification was deleted, but I still have my secondary group. You can also select multiple ones if you wanted to. It's up to you. Select action, delete. I'm not going to delete them just because I don't want to mess anything up on this total connect. Once you're done, just go ahead and back out to the main screen on the app. So you're out. Just hit the back button, hit done. And now you can just go to the home and you're back at the main total connect screen. Again, guys, this was just a quick overview on how to create and uh, delete, add, remove, 
email notifications on Total Connect. If you guys do have any questions, by all means, feel free to contact us. You can send us an email at support at alarmcare.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit the like button underneath, enable notifications, that little doorbell, that way whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified and subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name was George with Alarm Grid. Thank you guys. See you guys next time.